March 4, Monday of the 8th week in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark As Jesus was setting out on a journey, a man ran up, knelt down before him, and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus answered him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments, You shall not kill, You shall not commit adultery, You shall not steal, You shall not bear false witness, You shall not defraud, Honor your father and your mother. He replied and said to him, Teacher, all of these I have observed from my youth. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, You are locking in one thing. Go, sell what you have, and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. At that statement, his face fell, and he went away sad, for he had many possessions. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How hard it is for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were amazed at his words. So Jesus again said to them in reply, Children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were exceedingly astonished and said among themselves, Then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, for human beings, it is impossible, but not for God. All things are possible for God. The Gospel of the Lord To enter the kingdom of God, the bottom line of the commandments is for people to do good, to be ready to serve and sacrifice for others, and to imitate Jesus who does good and shares God's goodness with all. Beyond the commandments, Jesus shows in the example of the rich man that material possessions can hinder us from committing ourselves to God. After all, wealth does not guarantee salvation. God's kingdom is a gift. We enter the kingdom by receiving God's grace and consequently doing good. Though not condemning riches, Jesus warns us of their dangers. We may think that with wealth, everything can be bought and acquired. Wealth can give us a false sense of security. We may think we no longer need God. We can have everything without depending on God. And we put faith in what money can do and buy.